we believe that those three pillars are the foundation stone for the success of young people. They need loving home, good school, but also a wonderful, friendly uh, peer group or other youngsters to give them a chance to interact with other people, to make friends, and to get a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. Long ago, because uh, like 20 years ago, we discovered that uh, uh, children in age uh, uh, reaching adulthood, let's say more than 12 years old, uh, they respect a lot uh, other youngsters. When we ask them a question, uh, why are you coming uh, to visit Shemaha, to participate in our activities, they respond that, that uh, because of other young people. So uh, we realized that uh, for young people, for children, the peer group, the playground, let's say it's sometimes covered by the roof, like uh, a city center, I mean the, the shopping mall, is very important. It, it's, it's important like uh, loving family and, and good school. The peer group is something what they really need. A ja tutaj chodzę, bo bardzo miła atmosfera, bardzo pomagają w nauce. Jest, dużo poznałam w sumie znajomych i, i to bardzo ciekawie. A no i też są bardzo miłe wychowawcy i pan dyrektor też jest miły, więc... I can tell you, uh, you have to be in the right time, in the right place to communicate your ideas openly. The idea has to be simple, because this is a very simple idea. This is a city center. The city center is not only outside, somewhere in the main square. The city center is also here, because people want to come here. And when you introduce the, this idea to, to the partners like Amrez and uh, Multi, who is the owner of the, on the spot, uh, they can understand and they, they, they can follow or they can participate in the project. Very easy, but uh, it's very easy uh, after a while when you, re when you are realizing that, uh, that uh, it has to be here. From the moment when we started to talk to Shemaha and we told them, yeah, we love the concept, we love what you're doing. It's very much in line with what we want to do. It's also uh, close physically even, geographically to our business because, you know, the Shemaha spots in the shopping malls, you know, they are next door to our uh, restaurants and coffee stops. So we can do something as well with our people, for example. And the voluntary aspect of the, of the job is very important to us. Shopping malls are becoming uh, modern city centers. People are coming here not only to shop, but also to dine, to meet, uh, to make friends. So, uh, this is a place like, uh, like the, uh, the marketplace, like the, the city center, covered by the roof. So, especially in, the, in our climate, uh, when in summer there is a proper temperature not too hot, in winter it's not too cold, so children are really happy to spend time here. Also, they consider uh, places like, uh, like shopping malls as, uh, uh, as uh, uh, the most important or most, let's say, fancy places for, for the city. So when we, we, when we were asking a question, uh, if you have a friend uh, coming uh, to the city from, uh, uh, from somewhere else, 
uh, when are you going to invite me? And they were always referring to, to the places like, like shopping malls. So, uh, it took two years to get where we are from the moment when we started discussions. And uh, it took, it's a long time, but it's a complex project. So we have four partners here in this project. It's a multi-sectorial project. We have business represented by Amrest and by uh, Multipola, the owner of Magnolia mm -hmm. Shopping Mall. We have an NGO, Chimaha Association. And we have local government. We have the city of Wrocław, whose responsibility it is as well to contribute to the development of children in need. I'm always happy to repeat the quality is the way to show respect. Whatever you do, whatever you offer, <coughs> try to do your best. For example, here are coming underprivileged or abandoned children. Uh, so, there is a way to treat them like uh, how to express it, like, like not so important. So to offer them, for example, second-hand stuff, used stuff. We are trying to offer them the best, what we can, the best we can. This is a, the, the center of the shopping mall. The food court is very near. The, the uh, architecture, I mean, the... Um, Equipment here is high level, so I think they feel respected. They, they feel that we make a real effort to offer them the best we can. People are coming, children are coming. We have more than 100 of them. We are going to have more than that, but definitely they need some time to, to build a real community. Um, we have a commitment to the, to the community, and uh, uh, this is this is absolutely great. Uh, the youth nowadays uh, need a lot of support because, uh, especially when they're young, all the way to their teenage, uh, they're subject to um, so many temptations and distractions that could, unfortunately, deviate them from from the right path. So, having a place like this, where uh, where the kids uh, can and, and, and should be um, occupied in, in learning and, and sharing and doing activities and peering with their bodies, it's, it's also crucial. We have over 1,300 restaurants in 13 countries and growing. And one thing we definitely know is that our employees in this generation really wants a company that stands for something more than just doing business. And our employees have shared with us and we felt that we want to really harness the energy and their passions to give back to the community. So we've got a great youth education center here. Up to 150 kids can come here after school. They can work in the kitchen, they can play in the music room, they can use the computers. Um, and really, our employees can be directly involved in training them and teaching them and interacting with them to uh, really uh, help make their lives better, to help teach them skills and, and give them a great future. We want to contribute more than just the money, we want to also contribute our own work. So we have created a system of AMRES volunteers that people can uh, come here and they can contribute their skills, their competence, their passions into helping those children to grow. So we have a series of workshops that people can register for as volunteers and they will come and they started to come and for example yesterday we had some culinary workshop where the kids were baking muffins so uh, there's a great beginning and uh, we, we, we see the future is bright. Right.